what's going on you guys so it's uh it's been a while since i made a video due to holidays i hope everybody had a good holiday uh i'm actually on my way to the gym right now but on my way to the gym i decided to stop by at this uh parking complex kind of make a quick little video for you guys so recently i went to a mustang meet up there in san diego thanks to my boy uh tony he gave me an invite so uh went up there Finally got to meet a bunch of people that we've already been talking to through some forums, but it was really cool. Thanks for the invite again, you guys. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Unfortunately, I couldn't get much video just because it was at night. So I had a little, I have a little bit of video, more of just mine and Tony's cars together. And then I got a couple burnout videos. Some of the videos weren't even really shot by me. So uh, just because mine came out horrible. But um, so I'm going to add a little bit of that or try to add some of that into this and then we'll continue but uh in this video i kind of want to give you guys a little bit of that of the meat and a little bit of info very interesting info that i got out of there and then kind of just a quick update This guy uh, named uh, Noah, and he's uh, Noah over from Twin Turbo Mustang. That's his uh, Instagram, and his website is TwinTurboMustang.net. However, his website isn't up yet. The company isn't. It's in the final stages of testing and uh, perfecting, hence their name, their Twin Turbo Mustang that they're coming out with. And uh, I spoke to Noah, really cool dude. Uh, he gave me a lot of information on what they're doing over there with that, and I could definitely tell that guy's very passionate about what he's doing. So uh, he for sure, I mean, like I said, if everything works out and everything, I, I think that's kind of the route where I'll be going. 
so once they get going man i'm i'm very excited to be there with them and you know the cool thing about them that i really liked was um noah himself is a uh, was supercharged before and now he's going into twin turbo mustangs but their setup their setup is crazy uh the twin turbos are actually underneath the car and i think the idea behind that is to get true cold ambient air to those turbos opposed to being underneath the engine which is honestly something i've never seen so i'm super excited to see how that's going to work out and how that's going to how that's going to go along with this car now like i said they are in their final stages of tuning it perfecting it testing it um if all goes well he said dyno numbers will be out pretty soon so yeah and then like i said another another great thing about them is that they're i mean i don't want to say they're local because i'm out here in uh, the south bay area and they are actually about two hours away in san diego or around that area but even then man that's that'd be awesome dude i have my car hooked up by them installed by them tuned by them if anything were to go wrong they'd be i'd definitely take a two-hour trip just to get this perfected you know so i'm pretty excited hopefully i get to work with those guys here near in the future um i'll put their link and instagram name on the description just so you guys could go check out their pictures their pictures are very interesting now i'm not too knowledgeable on turbos and the parts and pieces i i know a little because of my previous car but if you guys go check out their instagram and see their pictures i'm sure you guys may have a little better idea on what you're looking at it's pretty interesting man and so like i said you guys noah twin turbo mustang very excited final stages stay tuned their website is not up and running yet but uh it's created after speaking with him he sounds it sounds pretty promising that there's going to be a lot more information out on it very soon so i'm looking forward to working with those guys now as far as my car like i said i'm at 2000 miles after seeing a bunch of other people's reviews on these cars and actually i should say like the 2015s everyone talks about rattling and noises in the cabin and i don't have any of that you guys and keep in mind i'm on lowered springs so I mean, maybe it's just because I'm barely at 2,000 miles and like not like a 10,000 mile mark like most of these other videos, but so far, you guys, it's, I don't hear any anything. I mean, maybe Ford actually heard us or heard the 2015 owners and maybe they did something different. I'm not very, not too sure, but whatever it may be, it, I don't hear anything in here. Uh, my interior is so far holding up beautifully. Um, I know I had a couple questions of you know about that and how it's holding up. I mean so far so good you guys uh, I definitely if I start seeing discoloration or or any flaws in it I would let you guys know and keep you guys updated but so far so good you guys um these 2,000 miles have been great for me uh, no complaints here man um, I could be nitpicky and but I mean I'm just gonna sound ridiculous whether I say the sing three is a second too slow or whatnot you know so i can't say anything bad right off the back i can tell you guys i i'm absolutely i love it there's nothing wrong at all um the sing three now i have heard i've never really messed with the my ford touch but i you know from what i hear it's not the greatest thing but um sync 3 I, i've had no issues with it whatsoever it's quick it's responsive the one thing i had i did have an issue is Every time I'd connect my phone, it would use an alter, alternate uh, music player, which isn't my default. But all I had to do to take care of that was go actually into my phone and set my uh, Google Play as my default. And ever since then, every time I get in, it it syncs right up and it plays that. And I absolutely love that, you guys. It's It syncs up so quick and just plays my music as soon as I start the car. So Sync 3 is good. Seats. Again, if I want to sound ridiculous and be nitpicky, then I will agree with the seat. Um, the seats, the cooled seats, isn't as great as the heated seats. Just because the heated seats, I feel like goes up, up, you know, up your back more, and the cooled seats, I feel like it's more your lower back. But hey, I mean, like I said, that's just me trying to be ridiculous. Because <laughs> heated seats, cooled seats, uh, that's awesome, you know. Just, just period. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and go into uh, accessory mode, kind of show you guys the way the Sync 3 looks. Now, I know the uh, My Ford Touch, oh, sorry, I turned it off earlier. Now, I know the uh, My Ford Touch has the four quadrants. Uh, this one does not. This Sync 3 is just 
kind of looks like that. So um, we got the audio. Yeah, let me hit home. Audio, climate. Which climate looks like that. Now again, I'm not too sure how the uh, my Ford Touch works and how their setup is, but this is the way this is set up. Uh, I really like this dual option. That I think that's awesome. You know, I've I've tested it myself where I have this side blowing ice cold AC and this side really hot. So I mean, th that's that's cool, man. That's 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 a really nice touch. Very comfortable car. My phone, I could go contacts recently. List, uh, do not deserve a keypad. Text messages if I wanted to set that up. Um, my phone navigation. Now I guess something that. Um, you don't have on my four touch now correct me if i'm wrong but from my understanding you guys cannot or my four touch is not able to zoom in and out like this and it's pretty pretty smooth as you can see i mean it's i think it's pretty responsive you zoom in so i i like it it works i've used it a couple times now, I mean, navigation, you aren't really going to use it unless you are in a spot where you're really unfamiliar with the area. So like San Diego, last couple days I was up there and I definitely use it just because I'm not too familiar with that area. I got the, uh, you know, you could add your ad, Trip Pandora, your serious travel link. That gives you traffic list, movie listing, sports info, fuel prices, weather, a lot of information you know a lot of information that actually seems very useful now to be completely honest i have not really used that what i have used is a feature on the navigation where i hit destination and it comes up food fuel hotel atm see all and this way it kind of breaks it down a little more entertainment health community automotive and that basically just gets you shops nearby <coughs> now again i really only use this uh, when I don't know the area so well, like, so like San Diego, I did use it. I was actually looking for a Starbucks, so that was pretty easy. Food, uh, coffee, searching coffee, and sure enough, right away, boom, Starbucks, coffee being, you know, so. It, it's definitely pretty cool, you guys, and it's, like I said, it's really responsive, actually, you know, so. That's cool. And then, as far as my music, so I have uh, my phone. The boss phone. <laughs> so I got that there, and that's pretty cool you know very responsive to change i can show my info it shows the artist the uh album art i have the shuffle the repeat source i could go to my ipod which my ipod i just leave plugged in here good i got an ipod wire for it plugged it in and it kind of just stays in here that way it's it's always connected it's always playing it's always there I really like the way they set the, the iPod, or I should say like the USB with the browse. So I could go browse, new search, I could go playlists, artists, albums, songs, whatever, you know, whatever you guys, however you guys want to break it down. So that's pretty cool. I got AM, FM. I know the FM comes with HD radio on, uh, <clears throat> on stations where it's uh, available. So here it's available there. You see how it pops up HD radio and HD radio. Basically what it is, is it gets you CD like quality on the radio. Again, only on stations that is capable of doing it. Like for example, 105.9 is uh, capable of doing it and uh, 93.5 for whatever reason is not. So I won't get a HD radio on this. And uh, what else can I show you guys up here? The home, the home is pretty cool, pretty convenient. It shows your navigation, your uh, audio, and then your phone. And I actually like how your phone, it shows you the 911, the battery life, the signal. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty convenient to see up there. That way you're not on your phone, you know. And then uh, you get close enough, you can hook your car up to Wi-Fi. And that way it's uh, it's able to update itself or update the system. So that, that's also pretty cool. But yeah, so uh, besides that, I got the uh, performance pack gauges, which eventually I plan on replacing with the uh, the uh, boost and vacuum gauges. So those are pretty cool. All right, so here we got the uh, those toggle switches. The toggle switches are pretty cool. These are emergencies, traction control on and off, steering comfortability, and overall driving mode. I usually tend to stay in just sport mode. Now, one thing, now you guys, if, if I just don't know how to find it, let me know 
But one thing that kind of bugs me, and again, this is just me being nitpicky and trying to find something wrong with it, but the mode. Every time I'm in here, I switch it over to sport mode, go somewhere, turn off my car, come back in, turn it back on, and it resets itself back to just a normal driving mode. I wish there was a way, and like I said, I'm, maybe I just don't know, and if you guys do know, let me know, but I wish there was a way where I could set the mode to the sport mode and leave it there and have it just automatically stay there. Um, I was doing some highway driving, so actually this is pretty good. I don't know if you guys could see, but on highway driving, it's I was averaging 19.6 uh, MPGs. Now, granted, I was doing pretty much 80 the whole way from San Diego back, and I was getting around 21.5. So that's actually pretty good in this car. Uh, normally, normal street driving, when I'm pushing it really hard, I've seen it as low as maybe eight. So, but that's on, that's under spirited driving. So you know, if you don't do that too often, you'll be good. But then again, you don't get a V8 for gas mileage. It's just, it's pointless. Like I said, ambient lighting. Can't really show you that, but it's underneath your, uh, your underneath the footwells, the back, cup holders, door handles, your gauges, the door sill, right here on the side. It says Mustang. I should flip it, I guess. So now, one of the uh, one of the things that I was that I actually ordered with this car was the upgraded 12 speaker system. It sounds great. I told myself at the beginning I'm gonna get the speaker system, so I don't put a big box, a subwoofer in the trunk, and I can't help it. Um, I'm gonna have to do it. I've always liked bass. I've always been a bass head, so the stock one kind of just isn't enough for me. Sounds really good, just not enough for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and install my 12 inch subwoofer back there. So right off the back, my, one of my first mods is the uh, lowering springs, Steeda Progressives. Absolutely love the drop. They're settling in so nicely. As you can tell, the tires are nice and tucked in there. And it, it's awesome. Uh, I don't scrape too hard and when I do it's just it's completely my fault and not paying attention on where I'm getting off of or parking lots I'm coming out of <clears throat> um, up front I haven't done much the only thing I really have done are these uh, just the, like a little blackout on the marker I kind of want to go darker but I feel like if I had another tint on top of it if I don't get the exact cut it's not gonna look right so so I don't know we'll see what I do with those I got some mods some light mods coming Black Friday, just did, did a lot of shopping actually for Black Friday, so stay tuned you guys, there's going to be a lot of install videos coming your way, um, pretty excited about that, I'm still missing about three packages, so hopefully those will come in soon. Other things that I've done is the uh, MMD by Foos louvers, which I love, I'm getting uh, mixed feelings about them, some people really like them, some people do not, I actually really do like them. Another thing I did is I did a 5% tint all the way around, got a visor tint, uh, my roof, I had painted black from factory, and I got, I got a plan behind that and why I did that. So again, you guys stay tuned, that's going to be a ways out, but if you guys stick around, you guys will definitely see that. What I have around the back is tinted tail lights. And that's just with the American Muscles tent kit. And that actually wasn't too bad. That was my first time ever doing anything like this. And I, it was actually not bad at all. Um, just use a, a hair dryer and followed the, followed the uh, instructions and went on pretty, pretty nicely. GT, um, Corsa Extreme exhaust, blacked out the reverse light. thinking what else underneath the hood actually i have not done anything but like i said you guys i do have a couple things coming so stay tuned to figure out kind of what that is so yeah guys there she is just a quick little update 2000 miles in loving it loving every second of it nothing wrong twin turbo mustang check those guys out great product coming our way and very excited to work with those guys is 
as of right now, it kind of seems like that's the way I'm going to be going. Uh, like I told Noah, my idea behind this car was six to 700 horses to the wheel. And uh, he told me right off the bat, and it's more than likely going to be capable to do way more than that. But uh, I say it now, and I say I say that just because I know once I get those six, seven horses, I may want more, but we'll see. So for now, that's good, you guys. Uh, that's pretty much it. Stay tuned, you guys. More videos coming your way. If you guys like it, dislike this video, let me know. If you guys have any... Uh, questions comments or ideas maybe for a future video let me know thanks you guys I had to do it. I had to do it.